and thank you for joining us for the first installment of our four-week Veterans Yoga program. My name is Katie, and I work at the Sacramento Public Library, where books are just the beginning. Uh, we are so excited to offer this program and to have local yoga instructor from the uh, Veterans Yoga Project, Kat Sun, with us today. And we'll get to her in just a moment, but first I wanted to mention a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is that I'm going to be sending out a short survey at the end of the four weeks, so keep an eye out for that email. Um, please feel free to share your thoughts with us about the program. We always appreciate hearing from you. And then also, I wanted to mention that today's session is going to be recorded so that you can watch it later or share it with a friend. And it's going to be uploaded to our YouTube channel, which you can find under Sacramento Public Library. Um, so it'll be up there within a week, so you can check back for it. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to Kat. So Kat, take it away and please enjoy. So good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for being here. Great to see uh, some familiar faces and nice to see some new faces as well. Um, before we begin, I just want to remind you that I am offering this from my home and I have furries. So, and I got neighbors walking by. So if you do hear some barking or any um, environmental noise from my end, just know that that's what's going on and everything's fine. And then also I mentioned to some of you already, but today we are going to want to have a strap. So if you don't have a strap like this, no big deal, just grab a belt, you know, the belt you wear around your waist or a dog leash as Katie suggested, or even a towel, a scarf, just something that you can kind of pull on and extend your reach with later on possibly. So we will be wanting to have something like that. And then that said, let's go ahead. We're gonna start just in a comfortable seat. So whatever that means for you, you can sit up in a chair to start. You can sit on the floor, maybe with a cushion underneath your hips. Just allowing yourself to arrive. Just wanna make sure you're nice and comfortable. If you are sitting on a chair or the floor, see if you can start to, if you're on a chair or on a lift, start to come towards the front edge of it a little bit so that you can bring your low back in, rock to the front of your sit bones. And then as you ground down through your sit bones, pressing down, you'll be able to then rebound and lift up through the spine, reach the crown of the head towards the sky. And if it's comfortable for you, just take a moment to gently close your eyes down, otherwise soften your gaze. Just going to start by arriving together. So taking a moment just to feel your body in space here. And take a nice inhalation in through your nose and let's clear it out through the mouth and inhale in through your nose full breath in and a big clearing sight out through the mouth one more time inhale in all the way down into that belly as you exhale clear it out Letting your lips gently close, coming back to your natural breath. And then bring both hands to your low belly. As you breathe in, see if you can feel your belly expand. Think about breathing into your belly. And though we know that we don't really bring air into our belly like that, as you breathe into the bottom of the lungs, it presses the diaphragm down, causing the belly to extend out a little. And then as you exhale and the air leaves the lung, diaphragm rises back up and the um, abdomen can come back in. So just without forcing it, just as you breathe, see if you can take big, deep belly breaths in and out. Feeling your breath, feeling that expansion of the inhalation and the gentle contraction on the exhale. Starting to tune into your own pulsation. Then you can shift your hands now to your rib basket at the diaphragm. And again, inhale, breathe into the low belly. And then see if you can also feel the expansion all around the rib basket here. And as you exhale, let it all get more quiet. Good. 
And then now bringing those hands to the heart center at the sternum. You might place one hand on top of the other. Just take a moment here. And again, inhale, breathe into the low belly, expanding at the rib basket, and breathe into the top of the lungs. Feel the heart lift a little. As you exhale, feel how everything becomes more quiet. Back to the center, back to the core. So again, Kelly, feeling that expansive quality. And exhaling, let it all quiet back. Keeping your hands at your heart now, just take a moment and feel your heart today. What does the heart feel like? What is your emotional, mental state like today? There's no judgment, we're just observing. We're gonna be, to just tune in. The body is always speaking to us. So we're just giving ourselves this moment to connect in, listen to what the body might want to share with you. And then with your hands still at your heart, maybe if there's something you'd like to dedicate this practice to, or if you'd like to set an intention, now's a good time, just tuning in. Again, for maybe some inner guidance or dedicating the practice, setting your intention. And then from here, releasing your hands, gently, gently blinking open the eyes. We're gonna inhale, sweep our arms out and up, overhead, palms touch at the top. As you exhale, pull it down the midline, and now touch earth at the bottom of your exhale, ground it down. And again, as you inhale, sweep out and up. As you exhale, pull it down through your midline, all the way into earth. One more, inhale, like you're gathering all this goodness. And then you're bringing it down through you, through your central channel, grounding it into earth. This time, inhale, arms up. Keep that left arm reaching up. Bring your right hands down, fingertips on the floor. Now inhale, ground into that right left sit bone and reach with that left arm. Get long on the left side. Good, exhale, tip it to the right, nice and easy. Inhale, let's bring both arms up. Exhale, left hand down, fingertips on the floor. Again, inhale, ground and rise through the left, the right side. Exhale, tip the left. Inhale, both arms up. Good. This time we're going to open our arms wide as we spin to the left. Bring the left hand behind you. Right hand can come maybe to the left knee. Again, ground and lengthen through your spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, twisting, maybe gazing back. Take another breath in here. And then exhale, unwind. Inhale, sweep both arms up overhead again. As you exhale, spin open those arms, spin to the right. So now right hand is behind you, left hand maybe reaching for the right knee. Before you twist, ground and lengthen on the inhale. And then exhaling, twisting and gazing back. Another breath in. And exhaling, release. Okay, this time, inhale, both arms up. Now keep that left arm lifted again. Bring the right hand down, fingertips on the floor. We're gonna bend this left elbow as we clasp the right side of the head, maybe the right ear. Walk your right fingertips away and then gently tilt your head to the left. And now breathe into that gentle stretch on the neck. You might feel, trace the line of energy from the ear down the side of the neck, over the shoulders, into the arm, fingertips into the ear. Keep one more breath. And then keep your head as it is. You're gonna release this top hand now and just place it on the underside of the face, the cheek, the left cheek, and then help the head back up to neutral. Let's do a shoulder shrug here. And then both arms up, inhaling. And keep the right arm lifted, left hand down, left fingertips on the floor, walk them away. Ground down in the sit bone and reach tall. 
Oh, sorry. No, we're not doing that. We're bending the elbow. <laughs> sorry. We're clasping the left side of the face as we gently tilt our head now to the right. And walk the left fingertips away again. Good. Tracing the line of energy now down the left side of the neck, into that arm, down into the ear. Another inhale in and keep your head where it is. Just gently release the right hand off the head and place the right hand on the right cheek and help the head back up. Good. And then again, good shoulder rolls. Okay, we're going to make fists with our hands as we circle out our wrists, mirror them. Good. And then we're going to circle them the other way. We're gonna make big palms with our hands. Spread the palms wide. Use your right, your left hand now to gently pull the five fingers of the right back. Stretch out the underbelly of the wrist and forearm. And then gently release, let the fingers point down and then gently press the knuckles back. And now we're stretching out the top of the wrist and forearm. And then gently release. Make big palm again with that right hand and now spin the fingers to point down so the underbelly of the wrist is facing up. And you're going to use your left hand to gently bring your right pinky back. Try to keep that right palm as broad as you can and then gently pull the ring finger back, the middle finger back, the index, and finally bringing that thumb back. And then release, shake it out. Okay, make big palms again with those hands. And now using your right hand on the five fingers of the left side, gently pull those back, stretching out the underbelly of the left wrist. Great. And then gently release, let the fingers point down and gently press back on those knuckles, stretching out the top of the wrist and forearm. And release. Again, make a big palm with the left hand and then spin the fingers to point down so the underbelly of the wrist is up. And you're using your right hand to gently bring the pinky finger back. And then the ring finger, the middle finger, the index, and the thumb. And then again, release, shake it out. Okay. From here, we're gonna come onto hands and knees. So we just did some stretching of the wrist, so hopefully it won't be too much pressure. But if this does not feel good for your wrist, if this is too much for your wrist, one of the things you can do is make fists with the hands and then come onto the fists. Or um, you can also have a little roll up of a blanket or something and put it underneath the palm with the fingers down so that's less of an angle. So those are just some of the things you could do here. So then on hands and knees, tabletop position, your shoulders over your wrist, your hips are over your knees. We're just gonna cat cow. So as you inhale, glide your sit bones up, let the belly hammock down, fly the heart forward, chin lifts, gaze up. As you exhale, reverse, tailbone down, kidneys lift, chin to chest, crown towards the floor. So moving with your own breath, inhaling, we expand the front body. Exhaling, let's expand that back body. And as you expand the front body, feel the contraction in the back body. As you expand the back body, feel the contraction in the front. So just feeling that duality of opposites as you move with the ebb and flow of your breath. So you can keep it nice and easy, especially if this cat-cow movement is relatively new or unfamiliar to you, then just stay with this. If that's feeling super fluid and you want to add a little more organic movement, you can start to circle your hips over your knees as you continue with the cat-cow. And don't overthink it or you might kind of get stuck. So just play, be playful in it. And if you are circling your hips over those knees, just go the other direction as well. Good, and the next inhale, bring it back to cow pose. 
We're going to curl the toes under. And actually, we're going to stretch our right leg back. So right ball of the foot is still on the floor, and you're pressing out through the right heel to lengthen the back line of the right leg. So here, breathe into the back of the calf, the back of the ankle. Take another inhale. And then let's go ahead and cross that right foot now over the midline to the left. So you're going to step it off the mat to the left. And then gaze over your left shoulder to look at the right foot. So now you feel the stretch on the right seam of the body. Good. And then gently release, bring it back to neutral and release the knee back down. Second side, let's straighten the left leg back. Left toes are curled under, ball of the left foot is grounded on the floor. And then press out through the heel to stretch the back of the leg here. When you're ready, we're crossing the midline. So letting the left leg now cross the midline over to the right, maybe off the mat. And then if it's okay for the head and the neck, you can gaze over your right shoulder, looking at that left foot, breathing into the left seam of the body. And then gently release, bring it back to neutral. And again, release the leg down. Take another round of cat-cow. Good. From here, we're going to walk our knees back a little bit and then bring your hips over your knees or you can walk your arms forward. You want the knees still stacked underneath the hips. As you walk your arms forward, let your heart dip towards the floor. Let the head hang between the arms, palms nice and wide. So we're coming into puppy pose. So the butt is up in the air. And then if this is plenty, you stay here. If you feel ready to come into child's pose, then you bring your big toes together. The knees are slightly apart. And you start to sink your hips towards the heels, letting the chest come towards the floor, forehead ground. Now in child's pose, if the forehead doesn't touch the floor, you can always make fists with the hands and stack them. And then let the forehead rest on that. Or you can just stack the hands. You can use a yoga block or anything else you have there so the forehead can be grounded. But do you try to let your forehead be grounded in this child's pose? And now let's inhale, coming back up to tabletop, hands and knees. Now we're going to curl our toes under. As you inhale again, glide the heart forward, so the bones lift. As you exhale, round into cat pose and lift those knees three inches off the floor. Just hover here. Hug your navel up towards the spine. Inhale, lower the knees. Glide the heart forward. Again, exhale, round. Lift the knees. Hover for a beat. Inhale, lower the knees. Glide the heart through. Exhale, go ahead and lift those knees. And now keep lifting. And we're going to press all the way back into our first downward dog. So hands are hip. Shoulder width apart, feet are about hip width. And then just start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Make sure your feet are now a little bit wider. As you walk your hands back towards your feet, bend those knees. And then clasp your elbows and gently rock a little side to side. And release the hands. Bring the hands onto the thighs. Lift your heart up halfway, so nice long spine. And then exhaling, folding, bring the crown of the head back towards the floor. Inhale again, knees are bent, lift the heart halfway. Exhaling, fold. I bring the knees more towards straight, but don't overdo it. We haven't warmed up the hamstrings yet. Inhaling, one more time. Exhaling, folding. This time, inhale, halfway lift, stay here, ground into the feet, and the next inhale, rise all the way up, sweep your arms out and up, and as you exhale, pull the hands down the midline, front of the heart. Good. And then just take a moment here and arrive. Okay, now we're going to take the strap. So 
if you came on late, uh, we're using a strap of some sort. You can use a belt, a dog leash, a, a neck tie, a towel, just something that has some length that you can uh, like kind of pull on. So now take your strap or whatever it is you have. If you've got something with a buckle, I like to hold the buckle in one hand just so it doesn't flail around and hit me. And then you're gonna take maybe a couple of feet or so between the hands. Feet are just nice and comfortable so you feel steady. Now hold the strap between the hands at shoulder height and pull them away from each other. And now shrug your shoulders up to the ears. Take your shoulders back and glide those shoulders down the back. Keep the arms engaged like that. Keep your elbows straight as best you can as you inhale to lift your arms up overhead. And then exhale, just bring them forward and all the way down. Keep pulling the hands away from each other on the strap. Again, inhale. Keep pulling the hands on the strap as you take it up overhead. Keep those elbows straight. This time as you get to the top, see if you can take it back another half an inch or so. Breathing here. And then take it back another half inch, inch, breathe. Good. With your next exhale again, bring it forward and down. Again, inhale. Bring it up. Once you get to the top, keep the hands pulling away from each other on the strap so the arms are engaged, the shoulders are plugged in. And then again, send it back another couple of inches. And maybe you can send it back another inch or two. Take another inhale and exhale, bring it forward and down again. Keep the hands still pulling away from each other on the strap. Inhale, forward and up. Keep the hands pulling away from each other, elbows straight. We're gonna start to floss the shoulders now. So go ahead now, take both hands towards the left. You're still pulling on the strap, elbows are straight. Taking that right arm behind the head as you floss it to the left. And then back up through center and over to the right. Behind the head if you can, floss it to the right. Good. The torso stays nice and upright. Back up through center, back over to the first side. So we're not moving the torso, we're just moving the arms, the shoulders. Back up through center and back to the second side. Good, inhale, bring it back up, and then exhale, bring it forward and down. All right, shake it out. Come on, on, shake out the hands. Shrug your shoulders up and down a few times. Okay, from here, we're still holding the strap. Now hold the buckle or hold one side of your strap in your right hand and lift that, I mean the right hand, yeah, and lift your right arm straight up. Now, Take the strap behind you. So I'm just gonna change my angle a little bit. Take the strap. So like you don't want the strap in front of you. You want it to be dangling behind you, okay? And then take your left hand out and place it on your tricep. So the underbelly of this upper arm and spin that tricep towards you. As you do so, your hand will start to spin to face back a bit, okay? So this is creating space in the shoulders. So, you're gonna keep that action as you start to bend that elbow, letting the hand rest behind you. And then you can slide this left hand up towards the right elbow to gently help the elbow back. So you want that elbow pointing straight up to the ceiling as best you can. And you can just pause here. You know, you might be here. You might be able to take the left arm behind you. And then if it's available, the next step would be to take this other arm out to the side, palm facing back, thumb pointing down, and then bend that elbow behind you and you can start to walk your hand up the strap, right? And eventually you might be able to clasp the fingers, but it doesn't matter how high up or down. You're looking for this stretch, the stretch here. So just breathing into that. Good. And then gently release. Get it out. Again, shrug your shoulders, shake it out. And we're coming into the second side. So now taking the buckle or the one end of your strap in the left hand and reach that left arm up. 
Again, make sure the strap is not dangling in front of you, but take it behind you. And then take your right hand on the underbelly of this upper arm and spin it towards you, right? As you do that, you guys feel it creates more space in this zone. So externally rotating it. Mm -hmm. And then bend that arm behind you and using this hand, slide it up towards the elbow, send it back, helping that elbow to point straight up to the ceiling. Maybe you can take it here, maybe you can take it back behind you. You can probably feel a pretty good stretch in this tricep, armpit region. Okay, so staying here is a good option. If you're taking the next step, you're gonna take the right hand now out to the side, palm face back, thumb pointing down, and then bend the elbow and then start to walk your hand up the strap, maybe towards the other hand. So again, not being attached to how high that other hand walks up. Just breathing here. Good, and then let's gently release and shake it out. Just notice, how do your shoulders feel? They feel okay? Okay, good. From here, let's just stand. You can release the strap now. We're not gonna use it. We'll come back to it maybe later when we come to the floor, perhaps. So now just stand feet hip width. We're going to bring our arms into gold post arms, making fists with the hands. Good. As you exhale now, crunch it in. Bring the elbows together as you curl in, tucking your tailbone forward. Inhale, open your elbows wide, arch your back. So you're sh shining your heart forward. And then again, exhale, Curl it in. So you're tucking the pelvic bowl and then you're tilting it as you open. Right? So think about really opening and closing with your breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. So this is kind of like that cat cow we did a moment ago on our hands and our knees. Good. Just a couple more rounds. Trying to feel the movement through the spine. Good, and the next time you inhale, open, go ahead and release. So here now, let's shrug the shoulders, bring them forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. Nice big circles with those shoulders. Good. And then we're gonna do one shoulder at a time. So bringing your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. And so it's just like the, uh, they're doing opposites. So it's almost like doing backstrokes, you know, when you swim. Good. And now let's release, shake out the hands. Okay, now let's inhale, open your arms wide. Again, shine your heart forward. As you exhale, right arm crosses over the left. Give yourself a great big bear hug in as you curl in. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, left arm on top, hug it in. Inhale, open. Right arm on top, hug it in. Inhale, open. Left arm on top, hug it in. At this time, inhale, open. Right arm on top, hug it in. But we're not curling, keep the spine nice and long. And then you're just gonna go ahead. This right arm that's on top, straighten the arm out. You're gonna use the left hand now, glide it from the shoulder and just bring in that right arm in front of you. Good. And you might feel a stretch in that space between the shoulder blade and the spine, or maybe for you it's somewhere else, maybe you feel it here. And gently release, shake it out. Good, inhale, open wide. Left arm on top, hug it in and then straighten out the left arm that's on top. Let it cross the body and then using your right hand now to slide that upper arm across your chest. Good. And gently release. Okay, inhale, open wide. Again, right arm on top. So you can do what we just did or this time, so you can do this. Or this time, if it's available, keep your elbows crossed as you bring the back of the hands towards each other. But if you have to uncross your elbows in order to do it, then better to stay here, okay? 
or you can stay here. You just keep hugging yourself like this. That's good too. Otherwise, you can bring the back of the hands towards each other. Or you can even wrap the wrist around each other so that the palms come towards each other, right? Does it matter? You take the variation that works for you. I just give you options. So if you've got this wrap option, whether the back of the hands or the palms are together, then lift the elbows shoulder height and then peel your hands away from your face and breathe here. So we're either here or let's take this position, right? So you're either here you're here or you're here. And then we're gonna start to slide the elbows to the left as we look to the right. Bring it back through center. Again, slide the elbows to the left, look to the right. One more time, back to center. Slide it to the left, look to the right. And then back to center and release. Shake it out. Inhale, open your arms wide, left arm on top. So either give yourself that big bear hug in, staying here or taking the wrap, either back of the hands or palm to palm, lifting the elbows and sliding the hands away from the face. Breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. And then we're bringing it into that dynamic motion. So slide them now to the right, gaze to the left back through center. Again, slide it to the right, gaze left. One more time. Slide and glide. Back to center, and again, release. Shake it out. Just notice how does the neck, the shoulders feel? Hopefully they're feeling good. From here, standing again on a mat, let's sweep our arms out and up. Now you're going to split both arms again, turn to the left, palms facing the left, gaze back at that thumb if it works for your neck. Keep gazing back, keep your head turning back, but shift your gaze forward. You can't look forward because your head is still spinning back, but like your eyes want to look forward. One more breath, and then inhale, bring the whole thing back up through center, arms up. Exhale, spin open to the other side, look back. Keep your head turning back and shift your gaze forward again. Breathing here. Good, inhale, bring it back up. Good. From here, let's go ahead, bring the hands shoulder height, palms face each other. We're gonna keep the left hand where it is. Inhale, reach your right arm up and then keep spinning it back, open it wide, turning to the right, and then spin the hand down towards the floor and back forward. So like that, big circles, nice and slow, don't rush through it. Reach up as far up as you can, reach back, and then slide it down and forward. Maybe three to five big, slow circles on the right. Feel the movement through the right shoulder. Good. The next time that right hand comes back forward, pause, both palms facing each other, shoulder blades down the back. Okay, same thing on the left. So inhale, reach that left arm up as high up as you can, and then spin it open, facing that side. And then spin the hand down and forward. Big circles, second side. Feel that movement in the shoulders. Good. Nice. And then again, next time you spin forward, pause. All right, and then go ahead and release. Hands on our elbow, or hands on our shoulders, <laughs> elbows wide. Good, we're gonna hug the elbows in towards each other. We're gonna lift them up, and then we're gonna widen them out and let them lower. So circling the elbows now as big as you can. Really, it's still mobilizing the shoulders. Great. And then release, shake it out. Okay, from here, let's find Tadasana. Uh, let's find um, Mountain Pose. So feet can be hip width apart, or you might feel comfortable with your big toes together, your heels slightly apart. 
but have your feet parallel if you can. So index toe to center the heel, those lines are parallel. And then take a moment and feel yourself standing nice and tall. So feel the feet on the earth, feel the solidity of earth below you. And then consciously bring your awareness into the ball of the big toe and ground your big toe down. Ground the inner heel and then pin the pinky, ball of the pinky toe down in the outer heel. Just feel those four corners connected to earth, into the stability of earth. And then from that rooting, now lift your inner arches up, lift your inner ankles up. So some of these instructions might just be an intention, but just think about like you're sucking energy up from the earth, up the inseam of your leg like a big straw. And then roll your inner thighs back gently. As you roll the inner thighs back, the buttocks, the uh, sacrum blossoms in the back, and send your tailbone straight down into earth. From that, shrug your shoulders forward, up, back, down, spin the palms forward. And then lengthen the back of the neck, back of the skull straight up. And again, if you're comfortable, you might gently close your eyes for a beat, otherwise just soften your gaze. And just see yourself now standing really supported and connected to earth and nice and tall, reaching up into sky. Taking another breath here, blinking open the eyes. As you inhale, we're sweeping our arms out and up. As we exhale, we're gonna hinge and fold. You can bring your hands to your thighs or your shins. You can bend the knees as you need. We're gonna glide the heart forward halfway, inhale. And then exhaling, folding to whatever degree is appropriate. Again, halfway lift, inhale, elongate the front body. Exhale, hinge and fold. So again, bend the knees if you need here. Last time, inhale, halfway lift, shoulder blades down the back. Fold as you exhale. And then bend the knees, ground into your feet. Inhale, rising all the way up, reaching up. And exhale, swan dive again, hands on the thighs or the shins, halfway lift as we inhale. Fold as we exhale. Root into the feet, inhale, rising all the way up. Last time, exhaling, folding. Lift your heart halfway as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Root into those feet, inhale, bring it all the way up. When you come up this time, clasp the right wrist with the left hand, root into the right foot as you lift up through the right side, exhale, tip it left. Good, bring it back up through center, ground through the left foot, clasping the left wrist with the right, lengthen up and exhale, tip it right. Back up through center, spin open to the left. Arms wide, look back. Inhale up through center, spin it right, look back. Inhale up through center, and then this time exhale, swan dive. Lift the heart halfway as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Now we're gonna clap the hands to the floor, we're gonna bend the knees, and we're gonna come back onto tabletop. Take a cat cow and tabletop. And then go ahead and curl the toes under, lift your hips, press it back, downward dog. From downward dog, bringing your shoulders over your wrist, come down onto your knees. So it's a half plank. And then hug those elbows in, lowering all the way to the floor. Press your toenails into the floor as you lengthen your tailbone long. Shrug your shoulder blades down the back and lift the heart. Back of the neck long, so gaze is forward and down. This is mini cobra. And then lower back down. Again, press up onto hands and knees. And then press back into child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Sink those hips towards the heels. Coming back through tabletop, hands and knees. Curl your toes under, 
and lift back up, downward dog. And then from downward dog, now we're going to look up between our hands and we're going to walk our feet up towards our hands. Hands can be back on your thighs or your shins. Lift the heart halfway, inhale. Exhaling, fold. Round into your feet and inhale, sweep it all the way back up. And as you exhale, bring the palms down through the center. Pausing at the heart. And release. Okay. We're going to come into um, just a couple of basic standing poses. So in Tadasana, a moment ago we found Tadasana. So set up your mountain pose. And then hands on our hips. Root into the right foot. And take your left foot now. Bring the arch of the left foot into the heel of the right. And then, so we want to be on a balancing beam. You're going to step that left foot straight back on the same line. Back foot is angled about 45 degrees. Your hips are turned diagonally forward and to the left. So we're setting up for triangle pose. And then bend the back knee, ground the heel and the knife edge of the foot as you straighten the leg. And then bend the front knee. And now ground the ball of the big toe inner heel and lift up through the inner groin as you straighten that knee. So both legs straight. Take, keep the left hand on the hips. Spin your right arm forward and up. Good. And now ground into that back heel. Inhale, lift up through that right arm. Get long on the right side. Then we're going to just hinge halfway. So exhale, just coming halfway forward. And then ground into the foot again. Inhale, rise right back up. Hinging forward halfway. Exhale. And again, inhale, rise right back up. Lengthen through the side. Feel the space in the ribs. Stay grounded in that heel. This time hinging from the hip crease forward. Now you can bring your hand to the thigh or the shin. Or if you've got a block or a piece of furniture near you, you can use that. Mm-hmm. If this is not appropriate, then just keep coming up and down with this movement instead, okay? Otherwise, pausing for a beat in triangle pose, shoulder blades down the back. And then if it's appropriate for you, you can take that left arm, reach it up, and gaze up. Good. One more breath. Shift your gaze down as you exhale. And root into the feet. Inhale, spin it all the way back up. Nice, okay, hands on your hips, bend the back knee and step up to the top of the mat. We're gonna come to the second side. So now root into the four corners of the left foot, bring your right foot arch into the heel of the left and step it straight back on that balancing beam. And then turn that foot forward slightly. So it's angled maybe 15, 45, so it's like a 45 angle. And then we're going to bend that back knee, ground the heel and the knife edge of the foot as you straighten the knee. And then bend the front knee a little, root the ball of the big toe inner heel, and then lift up through the inner groin to straighten. Keep the right hand on the hip, take your left hand forward, palm spinning up. Root into this back leg as you lift and lengthen, feel the space, feel all that space. Keep the space as you hinge from the hip, bringing it halfway down. And then through the rooting in the back, you lift it right back up, inhaling. Exhaling, hinge. Good, one more time, inhale. Rise, this time as you hinge forward, if you feel ready, you can pause, otherwise keep it dynamic. If you're pausing, hands can be on the shin, or the thigh, or a piece of furniture, or a block. Just don't put the weight on your knee joint, okay? Good. And then shrug the shoulder blades down the back. Spin your heart now to open to the right. You can keep the right hand on the hip, or you can take the hand up and gaze up. One more breath, whichever variation. If you are in the full pose, let's exhale to shift our gaze down. And then inhale, rooting into the back foot to rise back up. Good. And release. Beautiful. Okay, and then step to the top of your mat again. Now we're going to come into pyramid pose. So I'll face you for this. So now your 
my feet are hip width apart, my hands are on my hips. This time, instead of angling to the side, I want to keep my hips pointing forward. Let's grab my clock. Good. So hips are pointing forward. Again, ground into the right foot. You can step your left foot back, straight back now. So now you're on railroad tracks. So instead of my foot being on the same line, that causes my hips to angle. If I take it straight back, my hips can keep pointing forward. And I just pivot the foot out a little bit so it's more steady. Because if it's pointing forward straight, it's kind of wobbly. So you just spin the back foot out a little bit and you'll feel more stable. Good, hands on the hips. Hug your elbows together behind you. Ground into the back heel again. Lengthen your tailbone. Lift your heart. Inhale. We're just going to pulse three times. Hinging halfway. Exhaling forward halfway. Inhaling. Rising straight back up. Exhaling. Hinging. Nice. One more time. Inhaling. Rise. Exhaling. Hinge. Good. And then inhaling. Rising. All right, bend that front knee and step that left foot up. Feet are hip width apart, hands on my hips. Step that right foot straight back on the railroad tracks. So it's like still hip width apart in um, this way. And then spin that foot out just a little bit so you feel steady. Hug your elbows together behind you, lengthen the tail, lift the heart, inhale, hinging halfway, exhale. Inhale, rise. Every time you rise, you can root into the back heel. Keep the rootedness in the back heel as you hinge forward. That becomes your stability. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. Good. Last one. Inhaling, rising. Nice. Good. And then again, bend that front knee and step the back foot up. And then just shake it out. Okay, from here, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. You guys doing okay? All right. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do one salutation down to the floor. So again, find your mountain pose. Inhale, sweep those arms out and up. Exhaling, hinging and folding. Lift your heart halfway as you inhale. And then go ahead, bend the knees, plant your hands, coming back onto the floor onto hands and knees. From here, we're gonna go ahead and walk the knees back into like this plank, half plank. Hug your elbows in as you lower all the way to your belly. And then just one more cobra here. So big toes on the floor, I mean toenails on the floor. Lengthen the tailbone, shrug your shoulders, lift the heart, back of the neck long. Mini cobra. And exhaling, release. And let's go ahead and come onto our backs. So come in onto your backs, have your strap nearby. Hopefully you still have it. Once you're on your back, go ahead and bend both knees, feet on the floor. And then just hug your knees into your chest a little bit and rock a little side to side. Massage your back into the floor. So that is how is the back feeling today. And keep the right knee hugging in. Release your left foot back onto the floor. So the left knee is bent, left knee is pointing up to the ceiling. Now we're going to take our strap and we're going to loop it around the sole of the right foot. Slide it towards the heels and you hold either side of the strap in either hand. We're just going to bend and straighten a few times. So inhale, press the heel up, straight up to the ceiling. And then exhale, bend the knee, bring it back down. So just up and down a few times. So if this is no problem for you, you can play with straightening the left leg. You glide the left heel away from you for the left leg to be straight. Flex the left foot if the leg is straight. Otherwise, keep the knee bent, but on the floor. So you can keep this right leg moving up and down, or if you feel ready, you can just pause with the leg straight up, breathing into the back line of the leg here. Good. And then take both sides of the strap in the left hand, 
Use your right hand now. Just press it into your thigh. Press your thigh gently away from you. As you start to take your right foot, cross the midline. So don't go too fast. You don't need to go very far to find a stretch on the out seam of the leg here. Just maybe go like eight inches, 12 inches. Usually you can find it right around that zone. And then when you find something, just pause and breathe. Then gently bring it back to center. Take the foot out of the strap. We're gonna bend the knee. We're gonna plant the foot on top of that opposite thigh. Open your right arm out to the right, left hand to the outside of the right knee, inhale. And exhale, gently take the knee cross body. Just a very gentle twist. Here. And with your next inhale, let's come back onto our back and straighten out that leg. And just notice if one side feels different from the other. You might feel some energy tingling. Just let it wash through, just observing any sensations. And then second side, so bend both knees, feet on the floor to start. Hug the knees into your chest, rock gently side to side. Keep your left knee hugging in, release the right foot onto the floor with the knee bent. And then taking your strap again, looping it underneath the sole of the foot, slide it towards the heel. And just start with lifting that heel up and down a few times. Hands on either side of the strap, nice and easy. So again, if this is easy, you can go ahead and straighten the right leg long, press the heel out, flex the foot. If that doesn't work in your body, then just keep the knee bent, right foot stays on the floor. You're pausing, if you feel ready, with that left leg straight up in the air. From here, let's take both sides of the strap in the right hand, bring your left hand to your left thigh, and gently press the thigh away from you a little bit as you start to take the right, the left leg towards the right, crossing the body, crossing the midline. You're looking for the stretch on the outer IT region, outer hip, outer thigh. If you find something, you just pause and you breathe into it. And then bring the whole thing back up to center. So now if your right leg is straight, go, I mean bent, go ahead and straighten it as you release the left foot out of the strap. We're gonna bend the left knee and place the left foot on top of the right thigh. Bring your right hand to the outside of the left knee, left arm opens to the left, inhale. And exhale, twist it gently now to the right, rolling towards the outer edge of the right hip, right foot. Keeping your left shoulder heavy behind you as best as you can. Breathing into the twist. And then very gently releasing, coming back onto our back. And again, straighten out the leg. Take a beat, let the energy wash through. When you're ready, bend the knees again, feet on the floor, arms open wide into a T. Walk your feet wider apart from each other, so maybe mat width apart. We're gonna just windshield wiper those knees side to side, so letting both knees drop to the right. And then up through center, and both knees rock and drop to the left. Back up through center, so just nice and easy, side to side, a couple of times. Good. And then perhaps hugging our knees into our chest one last time. Here, if you want, you can split the knees towards the armpits so the knees are wider apart. You can also come into happy baby if you like. Sole of the foot pointing to the ceiling, shins perpendicular to the floor, and you clasp anywhere you can. And gently rock. From here, let's go ahead and release. We're coming into final relaxation pose. So lay nice and long on your back if that's comfortable. If that's a little too much for the low back, then it's helpful to have something underneath your knees, both knees. 
that helps to release the low back. If you don't have something easily within reach to lift the knees, support underneath the knees, then just bend the knees, walk your feet mat width apart and let the knees rock in so that the knees support each other. It's like this if you're doing that. And then just let your arms rest out to the sides, palms up, or you can bring your hands onto your body. And gently close your eyes. Comfortable with that. Otherwise, soften your gaze. Take a deep breath in through your nose again. Clear it out through your mouth. One more time. Deep breath in through your nose. And clear it out through your mouth as you let your body settle into the support of gravity. Let your lips part ever so slightly. Let your teeth part slightly. Let your chin drop. Soften the tongue. Let the tongue be broad and short. Soften the back of the throat. Relax the space between the eyebrows. Let your inner gaze now rest into your heart center. Allow yourself to receive. Gently bringing your awareness back into the body, noticing your breath. And then some gentle movement through your fingers and your toes. Taking a deeper breath in and out. Maybe a full body stretch. You can roll over to one side and just linger there. Or if you prefer, you can press on up. If you are seated up, maybe bringing your palms back together in front of the heart, eyes closed. If you're still on the side, just enjoy that posture. Taking a moment here just to connect in with gratitude, tuning into what you're grateful for in this present moment. And then gently bowing your head to your heart. Thank you everybody for being here. Well, thank you again for joining us for Veterans Yoga, and thank you so much to Kat for another really wonderful session. We hope you enjoyed. We invite, to, we invite you to explore additional mindfulness resources in the library collection, including yoga books and DVDs, which are available right now on Hoopla. For more information about our health initiatives, summer reading, and upcoming virtual programs, just go to www.saclibrary.org. We'll be back next Tuesday, August 17th at noon, so we hope to see you then. For the Sacramento Public Library, for Kat and myself, thank you so much and be well.